Okay, so I did not share the screen now. I'm sharing it now. Okay. So here, this is investing.com. Go here and uh, type any stock that you want to analyze. So for example, let's say, why don't you give me some names? So So to understand, to understand the share price, two approaches are taken. One is called fundamental analysis. And the second one is called technical analysis. Okay, so today we're going to talk about technical analysis. Now, uh, to understand the share price, why do you need to understand the share price? To understand, I put it in a very simple lemon term, to understand the share price. My question, why should we understand the share price? To see how well it's doing in the market. Okay, because see. Uh, to see how the company is performing, if it is actually worth investing in. Okay, good. Uh, overvalued or undervalued. Okay. Now here, uh, all of your answers are correct. So you basically say uh, to why we should understand the share price because to under, uh, analyze whether the company is overvalued, undervalued, company performance and all that. Good. But I just have two objectives here. That is first one. Why the price is expected to go up? Simple, right? That is, I buy buy a share if the share price is expected to go up. Okay, that is, buy at a low rate and sell at a high rate. Now, second objective of mine is to do short selling. That is sell if the share price is expected to go down. These are the only two reasons why we, matlab, uh, we study the share price when it comes to technical analysis. Remember, Profit is profit equals to sell minus buy. Okay, so buy low and sell high. To meet that criteria, you need to do this. Now, in India, around 2,000 shares are traded in a day. Okay, 2,000 stocks are traded in the day. In that, I need to find out which share price is going up. I will buy that. I will sell the share where the share price is going to come down. Now, how do we do it? So that we do it through technical analysis, which means plot the share price on a graph sheet, okay? Now the share price can go in three directions. One up, then down, up, down, up, down, up, down, sideways. So the price can go in three direction that is up, down and sideways. But if you look at this particular price movement, overall price movement, what is your view? Is it going up or down? If you look at the overall price, it's going up. 
so this we call it as a overall price movement is called as a trend so this particular is a uptrend stock trend stock now in case if the share prices are going down that will have a graph like this so here if i take a line and connect all the bottom lines at the peak then it's called as a downtrend because you can see here the prices are trying to go up gets pushed prices are going up getting pushed so this is basically an example for a downtrend stock so here what would be your approach for example if you see a stock price at this particular point let's say you see a stock at this particular point what would be your basic trades that you do the price is going up coming down going up coming down but if it is coming down it is not coming below this low the price is not coming below this low this is l2 l1 then l2 then l3 l4 we call this as a lowest point so my question to you is you see a share price at l2 what would you do buy the stocks wait buy. for latest yeah. so you wait. basically do this buy a stock let's say the share price here is around 90 rupees buy it at 90 and try to sell it somewhere here around 100 and 105 so basically you make 15 rupees ka profit this is what you do in a uptrend stock now look at the downtrend stock that is it's making this is l1 then you have l2 then you have l3 matlab every day the price is declining l4 so here what would your strategy be now let's take the price here around 80 then the price came down to 70 then the price came down to 60 so what would you do here so we will short sell to do a short sell try selling here and try at least it went down went up came down again when it comes to something like 60 try buying here now let us look at the third scenario what is that what are the three trends in the market uptrend downtrend i got sideways or consolidated so in a consolidated uh, trend market goes up comes down goes up comes down goes up comes down goes up comes up goes down now you draw a straight line connecting them on the top and then the bottom so there are two our tra trading strategies that you can do here obviously one buy here then try to like okay this one somewhere here you try to buy you take a chance that is what we call taking a chance you try to buy here and then you try to sell here because why price went down then went up then again down up down it's moving in a range so this is called as a consolidation or a sideways market consolidation 
or a side wish now why can why are you so confident that only these three patterns are there in the market and it can be explored why do you think that only these three trends are there in the market because we follow a simple rule number 1 history repeats itself itself have you heard this statement history repeats itself what does that mean everything will eventually happen again like Like exactly. what happened in the past is bound what to repeat before. in the future. Yeah. And like, see, basically, we uh, what do you call in 18th century there was a war between all these uh, uh, European subcontinents between the uh, what do you call the native uh, people and then with the, like uh, the French and the British fought. Then you had the World War where you had uh, Hitler coming in and fighting against uh, Britain and uh, Uh, us now you have another war where uh, uh, russia and uh, what do you call um, america fighting against syria or uh, which was other country iraq so basically they say over a period of time if you look at the pattern every uh, 100 years you have one uh, pandemic like we had a spanish flu in 1920s and in 2020 we have corona and then uh, we had a severe earthquake uh, somewhere in uh, Uh, what do you call in uh, 19 i think 40s or 50s and then you had again in uh, 2000 uh, we had couple of earthquakes in different locations so if you take anything basically there is a repetition and particularly if you watch the share prices it repeats itself like you would take any share uh, basically it goes up comes down goes up comes down so basically the that's a nature because of a thing so uh, that's the one of the biggest belief they have history repeats itself okay then comes the second thing second objective price moves in trends price move in trend what does the price move in trend mean price move in trend there is a pattern to the price exactly you saw here there is a uptrend there is a downtrend and then the sideways cut then third condition which we uh, follow as a technical analysis is is market discounts everything market discounts that is market in a sense the share price the share price discounts all the news that means the person who is trying to sell the share he knows what has happened in the past and what is going to happen in the future the person who buys he thinks that he knows what's happened in the past and the thing so basically you can't buy because of some news like uh, uh, reliance will sign an agreement with the jio like sorry reliance jio is going to sign an agreement with uh, amazon when this news comes if you go and try to buy a share it won't go up because the person who already sold the share would have factored in that news so basically buying on news doesn't make any sense instead buy on rumor sell on news that's the policy which i follow buy on rumors and sell on news clear okay so uh, these are the three criterias matlab there are uh, eight or nine criteria so but i have taken the three important criterias which we follow when it comes to the technical analysis so these are the rules on which uh, the stock market is matlab technical analysis is based on okay so techni- what is technical analysis technical analysis is study of price using using historical data historical data in that we take two important things one is called price and the other one is volume 
a study on the share price using the historical data that is price and volume so this is the key thing of the uh, technical analysis okay now in technical analysis price can be plotted in different ways the prices are now the first step of technical analysis first step price is plotted on a graph sheet to observe the trend price is plotted on the graph sheet to observe the trend now what are the different ways in which the price can be plotted like what you have studied so far how can the price be plotted in the graph sheet what are the different types of uh, ways it can be plotted um, there is something called candlesticks that's too advanced well the first one is line you take all the closing price and you plot it okay so they are called as line charts that is the closing price is plotted closing price is okay only the closing price is considered the closing price is considered then what is the second method hmm? what are the different types of charts you guys draw pie chart bar chart correct yes sir Uh, like that we have something called open high low close chart so in this you take the open price what is the open price here the first price of the day the first price of the day then the price at uh, when highest the price uh, highest price right then the lowest price and then the closing price now all these are basically taken in open high low charts okay now when i say the first price of the day or the what do you call it can be even the r okay so again i'll show you what are the different ways you can draw the chart next third one someone said uh that's around what here 15 20 Yeah. Okay. Third technique. What is the third technique? Third technique is uh, candlesticks. The third technique that we adopt in the market is candlestick. now candlesticks also the same thing we do we take open high low okay i'll write it in candlesticks in candlesticks what we do we take the open and close and create a body open and close is taken to create a body and then high and low high and low are considered as shadows or what is the other name wicks or wicks yeah so basically this is done and then the coloring of the candle is done we do the coloring of the candle color ring of the candle now uh, if close is greater than open it's called as white 
ओके व्हाइट और बुल कैंडल बुल कैंडल okay then if the close is less than the uh, what do you call uh, open what do we do close is less than the open if the close is less than the open what type of a candle do we call it friends can you hear me red or bare i guess i don't know we call it as a dark or it can be black or whatever it will be darker color dark or a bare candle now in candlesticks what happens the every candle will have a different shape the candles will have different shapes different uh it cannot be actually shape okay what do you call candle yeah candle a different uh, candle will have a different size and uh, structure so there you will have names like doji harami then uh, hammer hangman then uh, uh, engulfing Uh, then uh, uh, what do you call harami doji hammer engulfing uh, three white soldiers then uh, any other names that you guys are aware about marbuzo marbuzo uh, spinning top now these kind of uh, shapes basically Uh, tell us about the what is going to be with the price like whenever a doji comes okay whenever a doji comes the market is supposed to be sideways whenever harami comes again in harami you have two types of haramis don't take hindi word the candlesticks are basically created by the japanese in somewhere in 16th century so you have bullish harami and bearish harami bullish and bearish okay so basically they will tell whether the market will go up or a down typically hammer hammer will indicate uh, prices to go down hang sorry prices to go up then hangman hangman basically tells you prices to go down then three white soldiers again you have dark white soldiers and a bear engulfing engulfing is talk, talks about reversal now what is reversal can someone tell what is a reversal what is reverse market just goes up like this till now till here what is the trend upward then it starts coming down what will be the trend reverse down down, down. okay okay now which is the reversal point this correct so there you will have a pattern like this in candlesticks to create a candle what and all you require you require a open and a close price correct so probably that day the share price opened here and then the price closed here now tell me is it a bullish or a bearish price opened here bearish very good so we'll make it into red or you can make it into black now why we call it engulfing that is because prior to that one day before market was so confident that it opened at a low price okay it opened at a low price here 
and then it closed here. So that time you call it as a engulfing. Like what is engulfing? There was a fire, you put the water, it gets engulfed, right? So people were buying, buying, buying. Next day, someone came, supplied, supplied, supplied. The price came down. So like this, uh, this is the concept of technical analysis. Okay, let's. So this you understood. History repeats itself. That is what we are going to test. Then uh, candlesticks can be plotted in a different way. So usually line chart is very simple to plot but uh, it gives you limited information what action has happened in a day you will not get because in a line chart you will have one dot here see here this is a line chart so here i had one dot here i had a dot then the price started but if i plot it in a candlestick it would look different yes uh can you yeah any questions friends anything that you want to know i'll show you to how to draw the chart how to set it up then we'll talk about indicator, oscillators, everything we will talk. Yes. Questions? Sir, in the candlestick thing, uh, when we see it in an actual like, graph, like the completed one in any website, there is mm -hmm. there are things pointing up or down, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, how does that, uh, uh, how is that used to read the price? like? Yeah, mm -hmm. so basically the whole candlesticks, if you want to study, it will easily take one year. Like the, there are different, different patterns, which works at a different, different time. You have to confirm it with volume and all that. So your question is, how do I read? So basically to read, you need to practice a lot, which uh, we will look into it. Okay. One second, friends. Hello. Hello. Yes. No, 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 don't call me yet. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. Coming back to the discussion here, uh, let us do one thing. I want you to go to investing.com, then select, uh, okay, today we will look into Cadillac. Cadillac and Reliance, okay. You can make a note of it. Caddy. Where did it go? Okay, we'll start with uh, Reliance, where we have uptrend. So we'll go for the Reliance Industries. Now I want you to, okay, once you come to this screen, Reliance Industries, current price is 2289. Now, if this is a line chart, every day, ka, like here, if you click on, if you see one day, okay, if you see here highlighted day, that means every day ka closing price is plotted on this sheet. And then you get a, uh, what do you call, a chart like this. Now this is called as a line chart. Now friends, uh, my question to you is, is it an uptrend or a downtrend? Uptrend. Why, uptrend. Are you, why are you telling it's an uptrend? Because all the closing prices, they all, uh, when you draw a line through them, it goes upward. Exactly. You take all the lowest points. So let's mark it. You can use this brush to draw that. So take a brush, draw one, then another one, another one, and another one. Okay, and another one. Now try drawing a line. Remember to draw a line, at least two points should connect. So we will take the lines which are uh, most uh, lowest and we will try drawing it. So this, these are the two lines where I get the lowest point. So currently, if I draw the line here, the first lowest point which I have in the chart is this one. Second one is this one. So this is called as a trend line. 
did you all get a point understanding here so you may say sir what if the price had come here then my line would be like this so here the price movement is very very steep that means it's a very highly bullish market if the prices are going at a very high steep here the angle now the angle can also be like this na the angle can also be like this the angle can also be like this but if this price is moving like this it is moderately bullish but if the angle is like this it is highly bullish and you may say can a share price just go up like this yeah you have very rarely you see that like if you see the zoom software ka share price or uh, ruchi soya in india they all went up because people were no one was willing to sell everyone wanted to buy it so that is when it happens but usually i don't trade in such kind of a stocks i usually trade in the stocks which are mildly bullish or basically this also i trade here the fundamentals are also very good uh, so or all this looks good so far yeah any questions here so what is the importance of the trend line i'll tell you now if i draw a line like this if i buy a share here at 2 2 uh, double 1 that is 2202 <laughs> what did i say technical analysis ka what is the first rule what is the first rule of the technical analysis which i we discussed history it repeats itself okay so here if the price comes starts coming down below this line i should be mentally prepared to sell it now you may ask what if i don't sell it what does the history tell that if you don't respect your elders then your downfall is guaranteed right so way here if i don't sell it here there is a 70% chances that the share prices may come down to 1600 now why am i telling 70% chances that it may come to 1600 again this is also based on history so we have rules like fibonacci retracement support resistance uh, rectangle breakout lot of concepts are there so that i am not a touched upon here but i have those numbers in my mind so i am telling you that based on the history if the price comes below this line i sell i get out see remember one thing i buy here at 2300 and if it comes to 2247 i sell it i have a 50 rupees ka loss no problem 50 rupees loss is better than 500 rupees ka loss 50 rupees loss is better than 500 rupees loss because if i incur a loss here and when the price come to this spot which we will call it as a support zone i will buy here and i will try to sell it at 1900 i will make 200 rupees there it's like if you survive today you can fight another day got it in kannada we say badkidre hul meedadru badkabodu matlab if you survive today you can somehow survive for more number of days so survival is important if you say no no i made a mistake i'll pay the price and you end up uh, fighting with uh, something like a very powerful force then you lose everything so that's a reason always always respect the trend line trend is your friend not your enemy you made a mistake you entered here actually your entry point should have been here where you should have taken a buy here but you missed it no problem you had a second buying opportunity here you missed it no problem you are still buying here but if the price comes down then be mentally prepared to take 50 rupees ka loss and come down because some of those guys did not believe these concepts they told what is this see here okay so here uh, let me come to this point okay 
assuming you have only chart of this much you have a chart only for this period so how would you draw a line here it's a consolidated uh, or sideward line yeah. right yeah so basically you take a line here and you draw it correct so this becomes like your lakshman rekha or what we called the trend line the support line now many people went and bought including me around 1500 levels thinking that price will go up now but look what happened once the 1500 level got broken here okay this line like at this point this was the line it got broken it came down to 900 and up to 8 700 it came down so like this you always have to respect the line now how do i plot this in a different way like i told you another technique is to draw is using open high low so see here the open high low see here in open high low how do i plot it i take the highest price of the day this is my highest price of the day and then this is the lowest price of the day okay so i have the high here and i have the low here So see here, you have the high here, low here. Next to the left side, I make a marking that is called as the open price. To the left side, I make a marking that is called open price. Towards my right side, I make a price that is called as the closing price. So this is called as open high low chart. So here you get all the day ka data. Like here, if you see, it was a very bullish day. It opened at the lowest price and closed at the highest price. So this is a very bullish candle. So ideally, typically the market should move above this point. It should not come if the strength is very high. So there was a weakness. So today also we have the similar kind of a scenario. Opened low. uh and it's currently going on here okay current day is going on still okay now this i'm not a we are all not a big fan of that so basically uh, we will focus more on candlesticks so in candlesticks you can see the same concept low price and the high price ko hum log kya karte hai we just draw like see this is the open price you can see here this is the open price i'll show you how to draw it in the chart okay Okay, one second. The share price opened at ninety uh, rupees, went up, 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 and closed at hundred. So basically, this is called as a body open, and this is called as a close. Now, it made a day high. It made a day high of hundred and five. and it made a low of 98 so this is called as shadows so but like the what is the whole body telling the whole body is telling it opened low closed high we consider it as a bullish candle sorry i should not color it we consider it as a bullish candle next day it opened at the highest point 105 and finally closed this was the opening price this was the closing price okay lowest price it closed at the lowest price it had done a day i of 2 uh, rupees so this will be called as a bearish candle this will be called as a bearish candle i make it dark clear 
any questions so all of you just go and open a infica chart we will uh, look into that take a hourly go for a hourly period and we will look into the infica hourly trend go to the chart and open it open a hourly chart yeah so one more thing before we go for the infi chart look at this i plotted the share price on a hourly chart or you can even take a 15 minutes ka chart see here it was trying to go up see this was the point it was trying to break for how many days for last 15 days it was trying to break the highest point 2270 then uh it was uh, coming to the lowest point 22 uh, 2174 remember 2268 was the level it was trying to break and 2174 174 to 268 it was just dancing so what type of a market is this down up down up so what type of a market is this low comes to a low goes up sideways sideways, sideways. so usually when the market breaks the sideway we call it as a range breakout okay so when the market breaks a range breakout you need to buy the share because the acceleration will be fast and you need to sell it so here what i did when it broke the level 2268 somewhere there i went and purchased the share and i sold it at uh, 2285 so that is what today i did i'll show you that so if you go to the positions orders yeah see here look at my orders here i bought it at what rate 2252 because the range it almost broke there and it came back okay so where is that uh yeah see here it if you look at the 5 minute you'll have a better picture there so here in the 5 minute you can see here it uh, almost broke and came back to that level 2252 level pe i got a entry there next what i did i sold it when it went up to 2285 i basically sold it that was somewhere here when the price started declining i exited it so that way basically you trade in the market when the sideways break out so this was not a bad trade because if you look at the position here made around 661 how to do this you just need a investment of how much to buy 20 shares of reliance if you click on the buy button here and uh, already we discussed about what is intraday trading you don't keep the full money you just keep a part of the money you just need to invest 4690 so with the investment of 4690 rupees uh you can buy like around 20 shares of reliance and you can sell it it's not like every day you get this opportunity that's a disclaimer every day you don't get this opportunity the day you get you buy it and sell it okay so this is the one thing then second thing which i was actually looking at was cadillac c a d a cadillac now look at the chart cadillac okay i use some advanced uh, concepts okay like uh, a lot of systems i follow okay where is it uh, template okay just take it a template look at the 15 minutes ka 5 minutes or 15 minutes ka chart so here the market went up came down uh, came down tried going up but it did not go up more than the previous high so i can draw one small support line here at 413 and then the price drastically broke down so 413 i would have sold it and 408 i can buy it so i would have made a profit of 5 rupees so even if you do it for 100 shares you make around 5 you take 500 home so to buy fire sorry to sell 500 shares again you have to use intraday order put 100 quantity and then click on the sell button and see the investment required is only 3710 
clear so this week i want you to take infica share price see what type of a trend happens every uh, you want to use 5 minutes chart or a 15 minutes chart if you use okay do it both use both 5 minutes ka chart you open and see what are the trends and in a 15 minutes chart you open and see what are the trends and based on the trends you try to identify buy and sell point in an excel sheet in next class we will talk about how to uh, manage that trade using stop loss trailing stop loss uh, gtt order all that we will discuss in the next class okay so once you open the infosys ka chart here once you open infi chart here okay so once you open the infosys ka chart here so i usually look at what is first the day trend okay so i click on the day here what's a day trend friends bullish or bearish matlab is it uptrend or downtrend if you draw a straight line uptrend 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 so basically if you are a long planning to buy the share for couple of days then basically you should buy but remember that you keep otherwise you can actually now move the stop okay this should be the uh, immediate trend okay around 992 would be the levels that you have to watch out actually i don't use this kind of a trend line to keep a stop loss but i use something called as a horizontal uh, support and resistance this we will discuss in the next class next wednesday when next friday right you have a class on next friday i believe friday or uh, this friday, friday. This, friday. Friday. Okay, this friday we will talk about it see here this is an engulfing pattern which we were discussing okay so here you can see that i look at this level this is a horizontal uh, um what do you call a support line so even if the god comes and says okay you bought in fee don't sell it but if it breaks this line i sell it because if it breaks this line it can come to 900 and if it breaks 900 it can come to 838 because there is something called as a window or a gap theory that will come into play so technical analysis is an art it's not like a mathematical module saying that 1 plus 1 is equal to always 2 you need to be flexible you need to identify there the pattern that we are currently seeing here this is what i was talking about doji that talks about market being in decision see here it's like a doji kind of a shape has appeared okay so this is basically probably a reversal probably a reversal market may come down in fact if it comes to this level i will be looking to sell it i will be looking to sell it around 979 ke below if the market comes i will look it to sell it for a target of 901 79 rupees there we use something called futures now let us look into a 5 minute chart okay so i want see here 5 minute chart kya bata raha hai aapko quickly you tell me make sure you change the time here okay by default it will show new york ka time but we are in india that is uct 5830 hours so here uh, what does it say this kind of a pattern this kind of a pattern what does it say a uh, sideways trend sideways trend okay so in the sideways trend just create a upper and a lower block this will become a rectangle pattern so you can look at uh, buying here at uh, 1044 and trying to sell it at 1053 but again timing makes a difference here because already we are done with the half a day of the day in the trading it doesn't make much sense here to do that usually you do it in the first half of the day those are called mean reversion strategies so here i would buy if the price breaks above 1054 i would sell if the 1000 price breaks 1044 so that's all for the day you guys can practice more on it if you have any questions i'll take it now Uh, sir, this does look like a triangle pattern. Triangle, ah. Yes, sir. There's a Not small. Exactly a triangle. I mean, triangle. Exactly, there are other set of rules that needs to be met. We'll discuss about it. Those are all advanced concepts. Surely we will discuss. Which was Vivaswan, right? This question point was from Vivaswan, I believe. Yes, sir. Yeah. This basically, I'll tell you what. If this. uh see here basically there was a big gap this is basically we call it as an exhaustion gap okay because the, this uh, infi has rallied a lot infi 
has rallied a lot. Okay, so INFI has rallied a lot. So there is a small gap here. So probably uh, we may see some weakness in INFI. So for that, I use other indicators like ADX, uh, which tells me whether the trend is strong or not. Okay, so when I look at this uh, ADX, ADX, if I look, see this particular red color line that is cooling off. When it is actually very bullish market, uh, this line will keep increasing. If it's a bearish market, this line will also keep increasing. Which one? The red line. A red line increasing is a basically an indicator the trend is strong. But look at this. This, uh, what do you call positive DMI? Hopefully, this is the positive DMI. Yeah, it's a positive DMI. The positive DMI is also coming down. And uh, it's basically a bit of an indirection. So if the negative uh, DMI, uh, that starts uh, going, I made a mistake. Negative DMI, one, two, three. Okay. Uh, this negative, this starts going up like this. Then you'll see a sharp fall in the market. Matlab majority of the time that would happen there. Okay, so this, this crossover is a good point for me to take a call there. Sure, friends, I will wind up here, uh, do practice, and we will meet up on Friday for further discussion. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you.